Hello, my awesome Taurus. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing wonderful. I love you, Taurus. So happy Friday. It's Friday morning where I am. I hope you're going to have a beautiful weekend. Taurus, let's do your reading. So we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Taurus. This is going to be for December, beginning now. Today is the 20th of November. So between now, the end of December. But for most of you, these energies will extend beyond December. So let's see. You want a soulmate reading? That's what we're going to do. And of course, if there's anybody else new coming into your life, it's going to show up as well. So first part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Taurus. What do you be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good? Especially on this soulmate journey that you own. And second part of the video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, we're going to ask what's happening with that person, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, and what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling, especially in relation to you, Taurus. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Taurus? What will Taurus be dealing with, facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good, especially on this soulmate journey? What's coming towards Taurus? How is Taurus doing? One extra energy wants to come out. Very important. This is you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy in position one. This is you. Beautiful, whether you're male or female, you're showing up as uh, being very independent, attractive, uh, taking action, being proactive, not just sitting there waiting for things to happen. This is you being proactive, independent, powerful, beautiful. This is you manifesting money financial independence, having great business ideas, prosperity, financial independence showing up here, making wise financial decisions. Wow, let's see. Yeah, you see, we didn't even ask about this person yet and they already showing up here. This person is very guarded emotionally towards you. No communication showing up here. Uh, you feel like this is not resolved completely yet yeah this is this is feeling like it's unresolved for both of you but you are not putting your life on hold you're being very wise you're concentrating on your health well-being and your job business wow so this person this is not resolved yet completely between you and your soulmate who has hard time Showing love, hard time expressing love. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Taurus. A lot of you are dealing with Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, all signs are showing up here. All 12 signs, fire signs, earth signs, water signs, and air signs. But very strong Aries. Yeah, Gemini. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Taurus. What will Taurus be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for the highest good? Yeah, this is you, looking like a pro at your job or business, manifesting, very detailed, proactive, diligent worker. You have people spying on you, uh, your job or business. Yeah, so this is still unresolved for you. You're still emotionally healing from this person. This person is sad. They feel like they lost you for good. Uh, they're thinking about the mistakes they've made. Yeah, this person is thinking about the mistakes that were made in this connection in the past. They have very deep regrets, sadness. Ooh, they feel you cut them out for good. They said, they wondering if you truly cut them out for good or not. Yeah, this is you concentrating on your finances, stability. Yeah, stability, finances. Wow, 
um, Taurus, this person wants to make peace with you. They want to reconcile with you. A lot of people misunderstand reconciliation, though. Reconciliation truly means communicating openly, honestly, and making peace. doesn't necessarily mean uh, you have to be with this person. No, you never have to be with this person if you don't want to. But this person feels deep regret, sadness. They want to reconcile with you. Yeah, this is weighing heavily on them. This is feeling unfinished to them, like uh, something needs to be done. Yeah, this person took you for granted greatly, Taurus. Yeah, they did. They acted like a gigolo. Look at this. This is gigolo energy, uh, non-committal, in and out. They took you for granted greatly, gave you silent treatments, uh, disrespected you. Yeah. All of a sudden, they realize how foolish they were to allow themselves to lose you. So we didn't even ask about them yet. They're showing up. Let me see this. <clears throat> Universe, please clarify this energy. This, this is the soulmate. The soulmate of Taurus. Three of Wands. Yeah. This person wants to put work into this. All of a sudden... They want, yeah, you see communication showing up here. This means often apologies, gift offers, peace offerings, important conversations, telephone conversations, face-to-face -face conversations. Yeah, this person cares for you very deeply emotionally, but they don't know how to show it or didn't know how to show it in the past. Um, yeah, past life connection with this person. Um Let's see, yeah, they're checking up on you. Want to communicate with you. Let's see, because I think you're drained by this person. Let's see new, new energies entering your life. We don't want to know about this person anymore, uh, in this reading at least. Universe, please show us new energies entering Taurus life. New people or energies, opportunities entering Taurus life. Beautiful. So a lot of you will be reuniting. So, wow. Um, Taurus, uh, this shows uh, a reunion uh, of some sort showing up, maybe with family members. Something important like celebrations, reunions with people that you love. And also... Um, Patching things up with your person. Hmm. So healing will come to you. Uh, it will help you with healing when you make peace with this person. Yeah, you don't have to see them again if you don't want to, Taurus. You can just uh, forgive them, even though they don't deserve your forgiveness. You can forgive them uh, for your own sake. Yeah. Wow. This is showing you... Uh, as very intuitive, psychic, very connected with the divine, very connected with higher power, beautiful energy. This combination here shows that you in uh, past lifetimes have been doing some kind of spiritual work, helping people, very intuitive, very psychic. This also shows that there is silent treatment between you and your current soulmate. This is you celebrating financial accomplishments, um, also reunions with people you love, care about, beautiful. New soulmate entering your life, showing up here. New soulmate entering your life. Look how powerful you are. You have a lot of spiritual power within you, but this combination shows you don't abuse that power. You're not arrogant, you're very humble beautiful and that's the way it should be you have a lot of power within you spiritual power this is you understanding the laws of karma cause and effect and not creating uh, any negative karma for yourself this is you doing what's right by others and therefore what's right by you this is beautiful this is you understanding fully that what you put out there will come back to you so we put out bad energy it's going to come back to us to bite us in the neck, to 
uh, teach us a lesson, we put out good energy, it's going to come back in the form of blessings. And you understand that this is you uh, using your power to help the world, to help people. Beautiful energy you have. I love doing Taurus readings. So this person of yours, yeah, you see, your person of yours keeps showing up. This is unresolved for both of you. So uh, you're going to get a chance to resolve this peacefully with this person uh, who's been so problematic. Yeah, beautiful. The universe is advising you, whatever it is that you wish for, uh, state it clearly because it looks like you have this manifestation energy and you can manifest whatever it is you put your mind to. Beautiful. Very intuitive. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, what's this Seven of Swords about, universe? Yeah, so this person of yours uh, wants to uh, re-enter your life to make peace. Um, it probably would be very helpful for you, Taurus, but whatever you decide to do is totally up to you and your free will actions. Hmm. New person entering your life. Let me see about that new person. Yeah, you see, new person entering your life. So this new person that will be entering your life yeah, you know from past lives also. And this person wants, uh, they are into long-term monogamous relationships. They are not into frivolous connections. Yeah, meaningless connections. This person, this shows very clearly that this person has prayed, uh, is manifesting this relationship, uh, possible relationship with you. Uh, yeah, because this person would rather be single than be with somebody who is just anything out there. This person would rather be single than be with just anyone. This is long-term monogamous relationship showing up here. So this new person showing up here, uh, you know, from past lifetimes also. Yeah, they're very careful how they display their feelings. They don't want to overwhelm emotionally too quickly. This person is very strategic, careful, cautious, analytical. This person already knows you. Yeah. This person already knows you, but haven't, they haven't offered relationship to you yet. Yeah. They're very careful. They feel you're still healing. So this person somehow has a perception of you that you're still healing, still releasing the past. Yeah. Uh, this person feels alone, though. Yeah, misunderstood by a lot of people. Yeah, they feel... They also kind of worry that your person uh, from your recent past, your current person, will try to re-enter your life. But yeah, they, this new person, the loving person, showing up here as viewing you, perceiving you as very guarded, emotionally still healing from the breakup or disconnection with your current person. So this person of yours, the new person, uh, feels that you're not ready for commitment yet. At least that's their perception. Their perception is that you're still healing, that you're very guarded emotionally, but they're interested in long-term commitment with you. They feel they prayed for somebody like you and you showed up in their life. This is beautiful. They feel this person is spiritual. Yeah. They feel they know you from past incarnations, past lifetimes. So this person has uh, good spiritual awareness. They know about reincarnation. Yeah, they do. Wow. Uh, we're going to go into your extended reading, Taurus, and ask about both of them. Yeah, because it looks like you're still healing. You're still healing. Remember, be patient with yourself, Taurus. Healing takes time. That... That also includes healing of the physical body, just like it includes healing of the heart. It takes time. So be patient with yourself. We're going to ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions, plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time. 
whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle the summit connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.